we're already at part three. So for part three, we're going to actually make some brackets. And so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to put out a plane here. And we want this plane to be about an inch and a half. And we want that plane to also be six inches in length. So an inch and a half in depth and six inches in length. So we're gonna go ahead and extrude that another eight. So this is the main frame of our bracket. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna duplicate this and we're going to smush this in. We're gonna lower this one right here. We're gonna raise this one right here and we're actually gonna bring this in a little bit. So now this is basically the entire difficult portion done. We're going to go ahead and add a bit of a bevel here. Shade that smooth. We're going to add a couple holes in here because real brackets have holes so you can mount them to things. We're going to go ahead and create a cylinder with 32 vertices in it. Top down view. Now in this instance, we're going to put one hole here and we're going to go ahead and put another hole at the other end. So this one has two holes in it. Add a Boolean modifier, select those circles and apply. Now we're going to turn this 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees, and create a couple holes on here. And on this one, we're going to create three holes. Just like so. We're going to create another Boolean. We're going to apply. And now we have one little thing to clean up here. So we just select the face and delete vertices. Now we're all good. So we have a, a thin bracket here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it a step further. We're going to solidify it, even thickness, and we're going to make it ever so slightly thick on the inside. So now everything's connected. We can go ahead and apply that. The last thing I want to do is I want to round off these edges. We're going to select every edge, every corner rather, so all four of them. And we're going to hit Control-B on our keyboard, and we're just going to bevel it slightly. And that's it. Very simple, very quick. We're going to be using these to mount some stuff in our garage in uh, an upcoming part, so stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for tuning in.